Hackers find a way around built-in Windows protection. This is a news article from foxnews.com, and they're specifically referring to the feature Windows Defender Application Control, or WDAC. If I open up Windows Defender, also known as Windows Security, they're referring to the settings found in this tab, App and Browser Control. Basically, it uses application reputation, or by using an application's reputation it helps them determine whether or not an application is safe or not. If it has little to no reputation, it can be deemed risky and Windows may prevent it from being installed. But hackers have discovered ways to bypass this security setting, which is allowing them to install malware and ransomware and other malicious items. So how are they doing it? Well, it basically comes down to this. Essentially, these hackers are using legitimate applications and features in Windows where basically they trick these applications into installing something malicious. Now, what can you do to protect yourself? This article does point out there is little you can do to protect yourself simply because it's up to Microsoft to fix these issues. But just some general good practices. For example, obviously you'll want to update and keep Windows up to date. So as soon as they do patch this issue, you will be protected. But other good general rules of thumb is just install as little as possible on your computer. If if you're going to install something, make sure you know where you're installing it from, make sure it's a legitimate source and safe, and triple check that because hackers are very good at tricking users into thinking they are downloading something safe when actually they are not. Another good general practice is just be very cautious with emails. If there's an attachment, a link, something to click on in that email, be very, very careful. And in most cases, I would recommend just don't click on anything, even if you think it's a safe email. Good strong passwords, keep your antivirus turned on. But this is just another example of another security feature in Windows being circumvented. That is everything for this video, but if you do have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button to become a member for as low as 99 cents a month, the thanks button, the subscribe button, or that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.